I was on a bridge uh, between two continents. Uh, on my left, I knew was uh, China. On my left, on the bridge, and on the right hand side was the U.S. And I knew that uh, China was indicative or or represented uh, the old consciousness of the world of creation. It was just all the old tap lines, all the old routines, all the old stuff. Um, and that was on my left, and on the right hand side was uh, the unknown, which was a uh, part of the U.S., which it also kind of represented. And all of a sudden, uh, this bridge that connected both China and uh, the U.S. it started to split into two, and I could see that people needed to. It came down to a, a choosing. People needed to choose which side they were going to go to. Um, were they going to kind of go with the old consciousness, or were they going to go uh, with the new? And um, so, anyways, the bridge had uh, again split into two. And as the bridge was splitting into two, it was uh, split into two parallel parts. So they were sliding right uh, past each other. And on each side, uh, again, in front of me is like the Chinese part. And then on my side is the U.S. or on the side that I'm on. And um, I could see that the U.S. and China are uh, have military forces on the um, on the bridge. And they're coming and they're standing and they're waiting. And what's very interesting is they're they're shoulder to shoulder. They're very very close to each other, almost like uh, it reminded me of almost like bullets in a gun because they were they were standing at an angle. Also, they were all leaning, and um, the Chinese side took on a red color while the U.S. took on a blue color. So now they were opposing colors, and then this little bridge is sort of separating, or it's not a uh, it's not going to be connected anymore. And so anyways, we headed back to the U.S. On my side, it was this whole new consciousness or this kind of new wave coming in. And I could see that the U.S. is uh, mobilizing some uh, military forces. And I could also see that this this diplomatic relations between China and the U.S. is, you know, it's just maybe they're going to start some kind of conflict for a distraction or something. But um yeah, it looks like they want to heat things up in a way, but um, yeah, yeah, that's what I had seen. Well, that's a lot of fun, Jeremy. Yes, another Netflix series. And so uh, when you look at that, uh, there's several ways to look at it. So it's just a, a reference and USA, which is us all, okay, uh, Etc. And the old consciousness, yes, they're soldier, they're uh, sh shoulder to shoulder. That means they're um, willing to be all stuck together, okay, in the consciousness and agreeable. And yes, basically, uh, any type of war, confrontation, or military, especially uh, you know mundane uh, mindset military, um, is um, a deception, a distraction. It really is. Because the military doesn't know what they're doing, along with the people that tell them what to do, don't know what they're doing. And so they're thinking a particular way, but really, from the source, uh, the reptilian world, world controllers, everything they do is a distraction. That's it. But down here on Earth, it seems like, oh, you know, temperatures are rising, this is that, or we want this, or we want that. No, that's... That's all the personal play of things, but it's all a distraction. That's it. So whatever you see in the news, whatever it says, Trump's going to jail, the Ukraine is this, or whatever baloney they're doing, the missiles are in Cuba. It's all distraction because it comes from the world controllers on through, just creating, constantly creating distraction. So, yes, um, gives you an idea so it would seem u.s and china uh from a one-dimensional point of view but really uh that's why paul and i were <clears throat> uh came into the united states because it was just uh the most uh kind of versatile position at the time and things changed that's why we're down in mexico and just been informed by um Melissa the psychic and mission there funny Melissa Melissa judge she's a sweetheart 
uh, that Canadians are leaving left and right, supposedly, from Canada because uh, Gestapo Toro up there, who's under the uh, uh, orders of the Queen and the Brits, uh, is doing all kinds of funny things and holding people's money back from the banks and whatever. So uh, she sees this and has heard this, and it's like, whatever, okay? But again, it's all funny stuff because they want people continuously into future lifetimes. That's the whole idea, and that's what people don't see. So whether they live or die, they don't care. They just want them in uh, future lifetimes. So, yeah, no, that's a cool experience, Jeremy. Again, uh, verification of what's going on. And, yes, these things will take place. You know, since I've grown up, since 1948 and after World War II, uh, you know, with Hitler there in World War II, hired by the Vatican and the Queen to, uh, you know, steal from others so they could have more gold and paintings and whatever. And up into the present time, all the wars and all the situations. And it used to be when I was young, during the presidential days from Eisenhower to Kennedy and so on, it was Russia. Russia was the bad guy. And so... Um, Today, they just they just kind of change it around a little bit, but it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. Keeping the threat alive, that's what it is. So, again, we'll see. It's free will. Anybody can do whatever they want. But our view is, is that we see more and that uh, we're looking always, uh, you know, looking for the best possibility as to where to present and uh, see who shows up from that. So... Uh, yeah, China is the old consciousness, but, uh, you know, I'm, I would say that because China and the people there have been so suppressed for so long that they really want to see something else, too, just like North Korea and whatever they really do. Uh, and so that's why we're here. So it becomes very, very interesting. So that's a point of view. And that's like the daily news. A moment at a time and a day at a time. Then all of a sudden, a couple hours later, the next day it changes. So just watch for the variables, and we're on this adventure to present something wonderful. We're the privileged ones that get to do this. This is a privilege to have the awareness to recognize the new references and what's going on so that each person, you know, that has the courage can step up, do something real, yeah.